Welcome to another episode of Gaming at the Corova, and tonight we're going to be doing one of my personal favorites, and I think it's a classic, A Nightmare on Elm Street for the NES. Okay, so before we start this, yes, I am aware how cheesy this game is, and yes, I've seen the Angry Nintendo Nerds video on this. I personally, as a horror fan and a video game fan, thought it was a great game. Um, the objective is, is you've got to go around to all these different houses on Elm Street, uh, houses and places, and collect Freddy's bones in order to burn them into a furnace at the end of the game. Um, for its time, I thought the level detail was great. You go into three or four houses, um, you have Elm Street High, uh, you also go into the graveyard or the junkyard. Now, one of the things I didn't really got, get is why did Elm Street High look like the inside of one of the houses? I'm still yet to understand that, but... It was the 80s, we forgive you. Um, I'm actually going to show you a small clip of the game, and you tell me what you think. Now, overall, I would consider this to be a very, very fun game, but it did have its aggravating points. There's really no telling where you have to go if you're just starting out playing it, and as for the first three houses, there's no memorization. It's pretty much randomized at every point in time, but again, if you go through the third house the first for the first one and so on and so forth, it'll look identical every time, so again, I've quite never understood that, but once again, a fun game. The monsters in it were kind of cheesy. You fight Freddy in boss battles, and he takes different forms, as you've seen in the, in the clips. Uh, one is his glove, another one is his head, there's a ghost Freddy. Very, very cheesy, but again, a lot of fun. The game isn't but maybe an hour and a, to an hour and a half long, and that's if you're playing it slowly. But, still a very good game overall. So, for my recommendation, I'll give this one a 7 out of 10. Those annoyances were really bad, and I'm a very big Night Round Elm Street fan, so that's brutal honesty right there. Well, as for this episode of Gaming at the Corova, that's all for it, but please tune in next week and we'll have another game to review.